Welcome back to another video guys. Today we got some huge news. We got some huge news! Indian Motorcycle has just released the brand new Indian Scout. Yes, brand new Indian Scout. So last week, Indian Motorcycle invited me to their private virtual launch of the bike. So I've been looking at this bike for the past week or so, looking at everything that we went over on the virtual launch. Um, pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. There's one model in particular, one model, one model in particular that got my attention. Indian Scout 101, that's uh, it's, it's the one that I would buy if I was to get a Scout. Now before we jump into all the details and everything, let's just go over real quick of what the Indian Scout has been for Indian for the past 10 years. So for the past 10 years, the Indian Scout has been out. They have sold over 100,000 of those motorcycles. Now within that Scout realm, you're gonna have the Scout Bobber, the Scout 60, the Scout Bobber, the Scout Bobber 60, Scout Bobber 20, the Scout Rogue. I think I pretty much covered all the different types of Scouts. If I'm missing one, drop your thoughts on, drop your comment down below which one I missed. Anyways, each and every one is unique and special and different in their own different ways. Me, I am a fan of the Scout Rogue until now. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Scout 101, but the Scout Rogue was the one that I was a fan of. The Scout goes way back into India's history. At one time, it was the best handling motorcycle they had. I think John Leno has one in his garage, if I'm mistaken. I think I watched that episode of the blue bike. I think it was a, it was a blue Indian. But the original one looked amazing, looked super cool. Real, real, just classic looking. Anyways, that's a little bit of the Indian and its origins. Let's talk about the brand new, brand new, brand new Indian Scout. I need to be honest with you guys. At first when I saw the pictures, I'm like, wait a minute, it kinda looks the same. Now, what Indian is saying is that they are doing an evolution, not a revolution. I don't know who that was for. I think we all know. But their take on the whole new model is to just fix, tweak, and change a few little things. Um, and basically what I got away from the launch was, if it's not broken, why fix it? Or why change it? Now, the, the main things that they changed, I think are the most important things that they should have changed. So the bike now has a brand new engine. It is now carrying the 1250cc new Speed Plus engine. Redesigned, the engine design looks really nice. I like it a lot more then the design on the old Scout looks like a pretty engine, making a ton of more power. The bike is also 10 pounds lighter, and they also went ahead and they made the radiator a lot smaller. So you can see that the radiator fits right in the middle between the frame and the front. It's more secluded. Um, you can't really tell that it's there anymore. Now, once again, the things that they're tweaking and changing up are probably the, the most important things. They're trying to keep it, as is, but make it better. In the pictures, the tank may look almost the same, but the tank and the rear fender were redesigned. Evolution, not revolution. I was, I was, I kind of laughed. <laughs> I laughed when, when they said that. This is an evolution, not a revolution. I'm here thinking like. ABS is standard, traction control, and as well as ratty modes. Also, a steel tube frame, and on two or three of the models, you're also gonna have that digital gauge in the front, which looks really good, which is the same gauge that you're gonna find on the Indian Chief. We know that Indian has been putting riding modes into their models for the last few years. Big fan of it, I love what they're doing with that. It has a six speed transmission, liquid cool, and it has 11% more in horsepower and 14 more percent in torque. Now, if you wanna know the numbers, What's the numbers? What the numbers? 105 horsepower and 82 foot pounds of torque. Now for a small bike like that, because the Scout is their smaller bike, it's a pretty peppy bike. Put it on sport mode, that thing is gonna be ripping. Now the bike also does come with mid controls. So before the Scout came with four controls, redesigned mid controls. Now I think for a bike like that, it is perfect. Now for the taller riders, I think they're gonna be a little upset 
because any taller rider, if you're six foot and above, you're gonna want either A, to be on a Chief or any other bike, or you're gonna want four controls on that. Obviously, we went over all the different models that the Scout has. Um, each, depending on which one, they're gonna look different, they're gonna feel different. Um, my favorite one, once again, is the 101, the Scout 101. Absolutely beautiful. That one, it's a bit different, a lot different. That one comes with the inverted front end, piggyback shocks. It, it, it comes with a sick two-tone paint job, um, a riser setup in the front. It's, it, it looks like it's ready for the racetrack, to be honest. It looks, it looks fast just standing there. Bike looks really, really cool. Big fan of it. I hope that I'm gonna be able to throw a leg over it sometime soon. Um, from what India said, they said that these bikes should be shipping out either May or June around that time frame. So your local dealerships should be getting these bikes in around that time. But for now, look at the pictures. Let me know what you guys think about the changes so far on the motorcycle. Do you like the changes? Do you think the changes aren't enough? Um, me personally, I think they should have maybe changed a bit more. I think so, because I mean, ten years already. I think we we sh I think they should have kind of changed it a little bit more, just to make it look a little different. Because if you look at the pictures real quick side by side, it's kind of like you're almost looking at the same bike. But a lot of things have changed. Um, I think they they could have changed it a bit more, to be honest. Now, obviously, in this channel, we basically do all the Harley content. Hence my low rider ST right here, but I I do like Indians and from time to time I do Indian content. So Yeah, uh, I mean pretty soon we should be doing some more Indian content So tune in for that and then for the Indian guys who are gonna be part of the hating right now. What's up? Anyways, that was it. If you want to see more content like this, if you're hyped about the brand new Scout, drop your thoughts in comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like the Scout or would you rather look at something else? Would you rather look at a Harley Davidson Nightster? Put those neck to neck. That would be a nice comparison. I think, I think that would be a great comparison. Tune in for that one. Anyways, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.